Hi, this is Richard Burdick, and I look like I'm a little crooked today, but that's okay. Um, I'm talking about dynamics today, and I've written a little about it on my blog, which can be accessed by going to my website, i-ching-music.com, or i-ching-music-run-on.com, um, and then finding the blog icon, which might be hard to find on the left. But there is a blog. Um, I've talked about successful orchestra conductors and that sort of thing on the blog. Today I'm talking about dynamics. Um, you know, in the classical era, we, like Mozart, we have basically piano and forte. Mozart is never super soft or super loud unless he wants an SF. He writes an SF, like a Sforzando, Sforzato. But generally, Mozart's soft and loud, which is nice. You know, that's maybe all we need. Um, some of my compositions, because I use the I Ching as a basis, have eight dynamics serialized with eight, which have would have the range of three Ps to three Fs. But really, the correct and the most widely used system is two Ps to two Fs. That's it. Six dynamics. That's plenty. And then you can do warm forte, harsh forte. You can make other marks like that. But that's enough. That's plenty. Um, and, and by the way, I have a note here. Let's see. It says, you know, an orchestra needs to start not with a loud, aggressive forte, but finding a warm sound. A good conductor, in my opinion, would come to the orchestra and say, whoa, it's too loud, it's too loud. Let's find the warm sound and build on that. That make that our basic sound. It's a nice warm sound. And then a little louder for loud and softer for soft. Um, but build on the warm sound. Don't, don't make it a competition where, yes, that's forte and you have to play louder than that because your part says forte. And, and then if you can't hear it, then you ask him to play louder and it just escalates and escalates. Really, that's not very good for us performers. Um, we work hard enough, full time performing. Um, okay, so then the, we have this, oops, not that one. Normal, six dynamics. Then if you're looking at something like Tchaikovsky, which is pretty common, I've tried it out to, darn it, two, four, six, eight, ten, from four P's to four F's. Okay, ten dynamics. The four P's is not, in this scale, two F's is, oh, two F's equals four F's of Tchaikovsky. This, the scale is, this is as loud as you can play. You don't want to play any louder. This is as soft as you can play. You can't hear it anyway. Um, and then here, Tchaikovsky, four F's, that's as loud as you can play. Four P's, you might be able to hear it. Um, okay. So, if I'm going to have a forte, now see I've, I've made this little chart, which I'll probably post somewhere up here on the video. The comparison chart. Double P to double F on the top line. Four P's to four F's here. Okay. Mezzo piano in Tchaikovsky lines up between, and this is an equal scale pretty much, between Mezzo piano, mezzo. Mezzo piano in Tchaikovsky is louder than what I would normally do for mezzo piano. Mezzo forte is softer. Forte is, the Tchaikovsky forte is softer than forte, right? Fortissimo is softer than fortissimo. And then, so this, this oh, it doesn't quite line up properly, but there it is. Fortissimo here, the sixth dynamic scale is equal to four Fs. The double piano of the sixth dynamic scale is equal to four Ps. Now Tchaikovsky might make more like five Ps, but I'm just doing this one. Ten, ten dynamics as opposed to six dynamics. The middle point is, I think it's the mezzo piano. Maybe it's the mezzo forte. Mezzo forte lines up pretty well. So you see what I'm getting at is, if you play Tchaikovsky and you play fortissimo, it's not this fortissimo. It's softer than a normal six dynamic range fortissimo. Whereas the four Fs, that's as loud as you can play. That's what he's asking. Forte, much softer than four Fs, right? Closer to mezzo forte. P 
piano is louder than the normal piano because there's that range down there. So what I'm suggesting is a more gradual, more dynamics, the more gradual the scale. And that's the synopsis. More dynamics, the more gradual the scale.